We are here gathered this afternoon for a press brief. We'll click call on one of our own, Mr. Yes, a very brief one. Soroko, please. To Chief Frank Omari, the chairman of the task force. Interested what is going on in Delta State. And of course, they are here this afternoon to... You know what they are doing in that... They call it Musa Camp. Those are, there are a lot of security issues that we may not wish to talk about here. But it's important that that said land is the university land. We have the sea of O, the sea of O of that land. The sea of O of that land is here. I don't know from 1996 to date, how many years? If we can calculate, uh, we can get it, 1996 to today. 27 years, is it? 28 years. Ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen of the press, can all of us remove 28 years from, from our age? You can imagine the first acquisition and gazettes we had as a state. About 28 years ago, I was still in, you know, in, uh, maybe secondary school. The Gazette was endorsed by the former military administrator, Group Captain Ibrahim Kefas. We have it here. The Gazette is here that was endorsed. Then our governor our leader at that 28 years ago, he was not a governor of this state. In 2018, our immediate past governor, Dr. Ifai, Senator Dr. Ifai Okoa, obviously when it was and last it was renewed and he signed it in 2018. We still have the document here in 2018. The government of Honorable Sheriff Oboroweri, it is not an irresponsible government. It is a responsible government. It is a government that look after all the people in Delta State and our investors, other Nigerians in Delta State. Before you dig a foundation of any of your building, you must get government approvals. So where is the government approval? And in this case, some persons that were developing there were stopped. And the community youths and some of the elders, some of the community, not all of the community youth, they undermined the people from the ministry. My name is Iwari Okumbo. I arrived for the, the, this exercise. Some of the victims of... Go on this document. If you go to the core area, core area 2B, that is the Buzo area by the airport. If you go there, land grabbers have sold all the lands. And that is a government land. And we have all the documents intact. Federal, government, uh, federal uh, college, they have even demolished the government, the go college gates, uh, uh, friends and developing their houses there. If you go to Ugeli, those of you who travel to Ugeli or Wari, the stadium, you can't even see the stadium again. They have built in front of the stadium. If you go to Wari, same. If you go to Sapele, same. If you go to Agbo, it's worst off. Committee has gone ahead of the civil servants, the government forced to the civil servants who perpetrate civil servants. 
I know you alluded to it when you talked about the altar state for the expenses. If you tender it, I will resign. But some few months ago, the our governor, Right Honorable Sheriff Oborori, put this team together, headed by my very self, to look into all government lands, all government lands in Delta State, and to recover them back to government, and of course those persons that who are misinforming our states. So we kick-started by first calling a town hall meeting of critical stakeholders, especially the Osadebe University land. We called them in government house. There were over 150 persons, and this place was filled up. And we educated them and appealed to them that that property belonged to the university. And therefore, if you have a CFO, please, or a document that qualifies you to build houses there, let us know. We had the town hall meeting more than two months ago. We are on jingles. We are on national TV, local TV. And until two days ago, we need to effect the recovery. And we are, as we speak, we've recovered almost all the land in that area for the university. Now the blackmail coming left, right, and center. Nigerians should know, the world should know, that the governor of Delta State, Honorable Sheriff Uburuwe, is not oppressing, intimidating, harassing anybody. We find out that a lot of acclaimed community leaders and youths started inviting the innocent people to the said land and started selling land to them. At the point of sales and development, the state organs, the ministries, go to where they are developing and even stop them for developing this land. They stop them in writing. Still, they go ahead and start developing. And of course, Nigerians, we Nigerians, we like a very cheap article or something that they could get from the backyard. And as government, as a responsible government, as a responsible governor that we have, we cannot allow that. This committee, did we educate the people? Yes, we did. Did we have town hall meeting? Yes, we did. Did we give them notice, notices? We did. And they keep on promoting satanic information to Nigerians. Threats here and there. In fact, today, if you go there, if you, some of you were there before, you see how, do we, do we say jazz man? The man that is preparing jazz for them, all the members of the committee name, including the governor's name, we saw it there, to set confusion so that they can stay. The man was naked this afternoon. And we said, okay, no problem. The equipments are coming. He abandoned his duty jazz post and started running. I thought he was going to vanish. He started running. On a lighter note, that is how people could 
they could go after anybody. Yes, our lives have been threatened, family lives have been threatened. But if we are doing something that is right, who is above God? 